Right, question 14. Um, question 14, again, let's take note. They want you to find the average speed in kilometers per hour. Remember just now we did this? I said that when you are using this formula, if you are using kilometers per hour, make sure the distance is in kilometers, the time is in hours. You cannot mix the units. So the distance must be in kilometers, the time must be in hours. So this is in kilometers, this is in hours. So I need to change 13 minutes to hours. So minutes to hours, you divide by 60. So you get 0 0.5 and that's your final answer, 150. So C is the answer. Question 15. Now question 15 asks, which direction will the object accelerate? So if the object is here and I push, I, uh, I exert a force in this direction, the object will move in the same direction as the force, this way. So B is the answer. I just want to revise with you that when a force is applied to an object, this object will accelerate in the same direction as the force. Okay, as long as you're applying a force, as long as there's a net force acting on the object, the object will accelerate in the direction of the force. Question uh, 16, well, which block does not move? Well, this block does not move. It's like this. And then you apply a force this way. Same amount. So this box cannot move. Question 17, in which situation are the forces balanced? So again, let's revise. Balance means no net force. If there is a net force, if there is a net force, right? If there is a net force, then what happens is the object will accelerate. If there is no net force, that means no acceleration. So no acceleration, what does it mean? It means two things. Either the object is not moving, so we say object is at rest, or it could be the object is moving, but moving with constant speed. This is something I need you to remember. Oh, sorry. So if the object is experiencing a net force, the object is accelerating it will accelerate because there is a net force if the object has no net force acting on it or we say that when the forces are balanced then it will not have any acceleration zero so if that object is not accelerating what could it be doing not moving or moving with constant speed so let's look at this question they say the forces are balanced so that means there are no net force so which means the object is either at rest or the object is moving with constant speed. So if you look at the options given to you, only D is uh, the constant speed. Question 18, I think you will be able to read and the answer is 16, 43 minus 27.